I really appreciate Mike saying everything that he did uh, about elections because I don't know that most of, most people in the public are aware of the fact that is the responsibility of the state uh, in the state of Arizona for counties to administer elections, and we have. 15 county recorders. You're going to hear from our exceptionally talented and innovative county recorder uh, right after I speak. Uh, and they play an absolutely vital role. Uh, I know more about the work that they do after serving as the District 1 supervisor since uh, 2021. Uh, and it's absolutely essential that we have somebody who not only we can trust uh, in those offices, but also somebody who understands the gravity of the work that they do. Uh, and from everything that I have heard about Ann Carl, we're all just getting to know her, but everything that I have learned about Ann Carl, she is absolutely the person that we need in this job in Cochise County. Yeah. 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 Uh, I am one of 15 county supervisors that serves on the legislative policy committee of the state's county supervisors association. There is a supervisor from each county uh, that serves on uh, that, that committee. And we meet every week while the legislature is in session to talk about bills that we are going to oppose or bills that we're going to support that affect the interests of counties. There is uh, an almost equal number of Republicans and Democrats on this board. And every time we have gotten a bill presented to us uh, that is put forth by some of the election deniers who unfortunately serve in the Arizona legislature, and last session we had one presented by uh, one of your colleagues from Legislative District 17, uh, who shall remain nameless, although I could probably use any of the three names and it would, and it would fit. <laughs> And we voted unanimously to oppose that bill. Not just the Democratic supervisors on that committee, but the Republican supervisors on that committee. Because supervisors in this state, regardless of party, know that our elections are conducted fairly, securely, accurately. And we have had enough of election denialists, like the incumbent recorder in Cochise County, uh, defaming our elections, and just as importantly, defaming the work that our election workers and volunteers do. They are here, here. resigning in droves around this country uh, because, of, because of the lies that are being told by people like David Stevens. And the threats. And the threats. And the threats. No question about it. Uh, Ann Carl has worked for the Cochise County Attorney's <coughs> Office in both the criminal and, and civil divisions. Uh, in that uh, civil role, uh, she was responsible for helping to advise their board of supervisors. Uh, she was named by the Arizona Bar Foundation one of the top 50 pro bono lawyers in the state. Uh, and she and her husband uh, founded a nonprofit uh, in Cochise County that, that benefits the citizens of that county. So she's already got a proud record of public service working on behalf of the people of Cochise County. And when she is elected as the Cochise County Recorder, she's going to have an extraordinary mentor and colleague in our county recorder, Gabriela Casares Kelly. And I get the great privilege, I get the great privilege of uh, introducing Gabriela to all of you. Uh, she and I were both elected in 2020. And I just have to tell you, we are so fortunate to have somebody of not just her intellect, uh, but also her heart working for us on, on behalf of uh, the people of Pima County. She has done extraordinary work. Yes. Yes. She has done extraordinary work uh, to improve the operations of the recorder's office on both the, the voter side and the recording side, and she's also a leader of her state association. It is my pleasure to introduce to you my colleague and my constituent, she lives in District 1, Gabriella Casares-Kelly.